this book is called The Night Before Christmas. And I have a Christmas card in it that says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And that's in the Bible in Luke 2.11. The night before Jesus. T'was the night before Jesus went all through the house, and the earth, every creature, was stirring for a new baby's birth. The people were looking straight up and then down, to the left and the right, both in the country and town. Some faces were watching far out in the sky, believing God's son would be soon coming by. The Bethlehem children were snug in their beds with dreams of olives and figs in their heads. That was treats in Israel at that time. Sheep had just bat their last sleepy bleat, and the shepherds were tired and weary and beat. When up in the air there arose such a clatter, the shepherds saw angels and asked, who, who, What's the matter? They jumped to their feet and stood straight and tall and saw thousands of angels and heard angels call. It sounded like glory and it looked bright as can be and it was hard to believe and it was really hard to see. When what to their wandering eyes did appear but glory around them so loud and so near. It happened so sudden, it happened so quick. Was it real? Was it true? Or was it a trick? More rapid than eagles and shepherds they came. They found Mary and Joseph and whispered his name. It's Jesus Jehovah, Messiah, the Son, Emmanuel, the Lord. He is all, each and every one. They fell to their knees, way down to the ground. How good to receive him, the one they had found. The shepherds saw Jesus and they almost did cry, for Jesus, their Savior, had surely come by. They were so happy that Jesus was born. They had been waiting many, many, many years. So straight up the hillside, their running feet flew with their eyes full of Jesus and their hearts now like new. It ran to tell everyone. And very, very far away, wise men stood on some roof, searching the skies for biblical proof. Night after night, they hunted with care, for a sign of God's love in some stars up there. They knew a Messiah was coming, but they didn't know where. There! Each one shouted, out in the east! And they mounted with haste their two humped beasts. Do you know what a two humped beast is? It's a camel. And camels carry water in their big hump so they can go through the desert. One wise man with gold had a little round tummy. The Frankenstein wise man smelled, oh, yummy, yummy. The gift of rare mirth had been packed in a can, for Jesus would need it when he became a man. They brought gifts he would need for his whole lifetime. They were soon filled with questions from head down to toe. They asked, where's that new king? We truly must know. They traveled so long and traveled so far. They followed their hearts and they came to the star. The star led them. That's what they were looking for in the roof was God's star. Each face of the wise man was grim for a while, looking at the new savior. And then slowly each cheek turned great to a smile. They saw that God gave his son to the earth. They took up God's gift, putting theirs onto the earth. They got to hold baby Jesus. There was no more to do. There was no more to say. 
This was God's world, and this was God's day. As the baby blinked slowly while turning his head, the wise men knew then that they had nothing to dread. They spoke not a word as they headed for home. They were thankful to God that Christ Jesus had come. They were in awe. It was so awesome they couldn't even speak. Christ was on earth and old was like new. Now people could see what God can do. When children heard an old men whistle, where there are fir trees and dry prickly thistle, it's the night before Jesus from ground to the sky, and Jesus the Lord will surely come by. So we know, and you know, that God is in sight. Good morning to all, and to all a good night. I hope you enjoyed my Christmas story. It's called The Night Before Christmas, and it's a Concordia book. I enjoyed reading it too tonight. Lord Jesus, bless all the children and let them have a wonderful Christmas. Let them remember that people give them gifts because they love them, because it reminds us that God gave us his son because he loves us. God bless you.